in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and meandering rivers, lived a young boy named Aidan. Aidan was an inquisitive and creative child, always lost in his own world of dreams and imagination. The villagers admired his boundless curiosity and the stories he would weave from the threads of his mind. One day, a group of travelers arrived in the village, bringing with them news of a grand competition, the Imagination Gala. This event was renowned across the land as a celebration of the limitless power of human creativity. Participants were required to present a creation that showcased the pinnacle of their imagination. The winner would not only receive a coveted trophy but also a mysterious prize rumored to be a key to unlocking the realm of possibilities. Aidan's heart raced with excitement as he heard about the Imagination Gala. He immediately decided to participate, for he believed that his imagination knew no bounds. However, doubts crept into his mind as he compared himself to the skilled artisans and seasoned performers from neighboring villages who were also competing. Aidan was a mere boy with no exceptional talent. He was just an architect of dreams. His best friend, Elara, noticed his worries and sat with him by the riverbank. Aidan, she said, don't let doubt dim your light. Remember, in the realm of possibilities, imagination is the architect. Your mind can conjure wonders that no one else can replicate. Encouraged by Alara's words, Aidan set to work. He spent days and nights in his small workshop, pouring his heart and soul into his creation. His fingers danced with the tools, and his eyes sparkled with the fire of innovation. Soon, the workshop was filled with bits of wood, colors, and strange contraptions, a testament to his unyielding dedication. The day of the imagination gala arrived. The village square had been transformed into a kaleidoscope of colors and sounds. Each participant displayed their creation with pride, towering sculptures, intricate paintings, mesmerizing performances, and more. The air burst with anticipation as the villagers and judges marveled at the imaginative works. When it was Aidan's turn, he unveiled a curious-looking contraption covered in a cloth. With a flourish, he removed the cloth, revealing what appeared to be an intricately designed wooden frame with a series of colored glass panels. Murmurs of confusion spread through the crowd. Had Aidan misunderstood the competition? Was this his best effort? As Aidan stood before his creation, he raised his hand and gently tapped a small button on the side. The wooden frame began to hum softly and a breathtaking spectacle unfolded. The glass panels came to life, projecting vivid scenes that danced across the square, a dragon soaring over emerald forests, a ship sailing through a sea of stars, a world where gravity seemed to bend. The audience was spellbound, immersed in the stories that Aidan's creation wove. The judges were equally captivated. As the last scene faded away, the square erupted into thunderous applause. Aidan had not merely built a static creation. He had built a portal to the boundless realms of his imagination. The judges conferred and then announced Aidan as the winner of the Imagination Gala. Aidan stood on the stage. A mix of shock and joy coursing through him. He was handed the coveted trophy and, as promised, a small golden key. The key was said to open the doors to the realm of possibilities. A place where one's dreams could take shape in the real world. In the following days, Aidan wondered what he should do with the key. He remembered Alara's words, in the realm of possibilities. Imagination is the architect. With the key in his hand, Aidan realized that the realm of possibilities was not a distant place. It resided within him. Using the key, Aidan continued to create, inspire, and spread the magic of imagination. He built bridges that defied gravity, gardens that bloomed with stars, and cities that floated on clouds. 
his village transformed into a beacon of creativity, attracting dreamers and thinkers from all corners. And so, the tale of Aden and his creation traveled far and wide, reminding everyone that the true power of imagination lay not in the limits of reality, but in the endless realms that the mind could conceive. In the realm of possibilities, imagination was indeed the architect, and Aden had harnessed its magic to shape a world where dreams knew no bounds.